This will be just a real quick one. I'm going to show you how you can make replacement wick for candles, regular wax candles. And you can also adopt this process to make um, oil candle wicks. Ooh, you should light high to low. Candle wick is expensive to buy. And 100% cotton twine is cheap as dirt. This stuff came from Walmart, and you get a giant spool of it. It consists of two smaller threads that are woven together into a rope. Each of these two smaller threads consists of six little tiny threads. I'm going to use two pieces of this stuff. In other words, just take this fresh from the spool and double it in half. Twist it together, and in the twist, add some of this really, really thin gauge copper wire. You can find it in speaker wire. Speaker wire is also a rope of lots of little tiny copper wires. They do that to maximize the surface area and increase its um, electroconductivity. Okay, anyhow, I'll give you a close-up of this. So I'm using two of these and two of these, but it's important to understand that there is no exact perfect recipe because it depends on too many variables. I find that twisting two of these little copper threads with two of these pieces of cotton twine makes a nice thickness for the type of candle that I'm making here. But you have to consider the type of wax that you're using and just other environmental variables that change how much wax will melt in the candle. So for example here, these candles were cast too wide and as much as the flame spreads out, it doesn't generate enough heat to melt all the way to the end of the candle. So it fills up a pool and then it drowns itself. Now this one has a smaller diameter so it's almost optimized given the type of wick. You can add more wick or more cotton to the wick to make it produce a wider flame. So it's really a case of trial and error depending on a million different variables, one of which includes the type of wax that you're using. So I can't give you a perfect recipe, but I can show you the process. Twist as I've told you, and now you can just dip into the surplus wax and spread it along with your fingers, tightening it up with a twist. And now this can be inserted into your liquid wax candle and it will burn wonderfully. But of course, you have to use the wax to limit its combustion. I should have added back there that you don't have to use copper at all. The copper just acts as a spine that gives it a little bit of rigidity and keeps it from falling over once the wax melts. As for an oil candle, you don't have to be so picky. This doesn't require you to be so calculating. You just have to find a fireproof material. In this case, I used a ceramic marble that I made and fired out of low fire uh, clay. I drilled a hole in it and inserted, I inserted as much of the cotton as I could and that's all there is to it. Now if you find, if you have, if you can't drill ceramic, if you don't have access to a ceramic marble or something similar, then you can find an alternative like this lava rock which should easily withstand the heat that's generated by a few pieces of wick and it's soft enough that you could just drill it with a regular junky old drill bit. I suppose the hard part here is finding an old bottle that fits the description of what we need. This was just from some old air freshener or something. This amount of oil should burn, oh, I don't know, at least two hours. <laughs> 